one. Um, hey, it's me. <laughs> ah, Mike is fighting me. Okay, hello. It's me. We'll be doing a thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, we've got our, the sounds coming through. Well, we're good. We don't need, to, we're not going to have a awkward repeat of my commentary not being picked up like it was in that one Cybertron stream. Oh yeah, I should uh, share this to Twitch, or not Twitch, we're on Twitch. I should share this to Discord. Okay. So we're good? We're alive? We're alive. Okay. Off we go. I, mean, I hope we're alive. I don't have my phone. What? It would have alerted me if we were alive. Uh, my phone. It would have alerted me when we'd gone live. Well, there's usually From what we heard in Isolt, demons are attacking villages, and more people are growing upset with the Abbey. So I hadn't expected things in Haria Village to be so laid back. They might be on their best behavior because you're accompanied by an exorcist. Huh. I didn't know you could see the world in more than just black and white. The Abbey wouldn't entrust my responsibilities to someone who couldn't see beyond the surface. I have seen many things in my work. I've beheld both the light and the darkness in the world of men. Hmm. Huh. Despite that. No, because of that. I won't turn away from the wrongs that I encounter. But you do. Moreover, I have faith. I believe there is good in all our souls. The darkness, huh? Yes, like you. Oh, my phone's right here. I'm a dumbass. You're awfully direct. Did you just get the notification? Sorry, just a second. I got a uh, Discord from work. Mm, I see. I thought they had randomly were like, I saw nothing, something about pre solds and I'm like, what? We're not open today, I thought, and it's for something else. Okay, thank you. Uh, hello? Hello. It vibrated at me, that was scary. It's me. Mm. Uh, where are it's a nice town. Very pretty. It's nice and calm. I don't think this is the thing. Nope. It's not the thing. There it is. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Work your w work it through the maze. You will conquer this. I want that. I want in. I need. It's. In a strange way, it has a strange power over me. The fuck? What? How do I get over? Oh, there we go. Jeez. Cheating. Do I talk to this child? Is that a quest marker? Sure. I can't deal with this anymore. What's the matter? Everyone's sick of all these fruit flavored gels, right? Um. Sure. So I made gels using the giant cacao beans only found here on Chocolate this gels. Island. It gave them a nice bitter chocolate taste. But people complained that they weren't avant-garde enough. Ugh, chocolate-flavored gels, how prosaic, bah! This got me fuming! So I caught some Maiden Bonita fish you find around here, ground them <laughs> up, and made some gels with them. You put fish into chocolate gels? Well, people do braise meat with chocolate. Chocolate and fish may go surprisingly well together. Fair. Exactly! It was the discovery of a century. Was it good? The needle flakes crunchiness and the gels gumminess made for an exquisitely bad combo, which made it interesting. So if you made an innovative new type of gel, why are you so angry? That's exactly my problem. I outdid myself. Now I need to make my gels world debut as amazing as they are. So okay. <laughs> I got the ultimate plan. What is happening? And that is? I'll put my Chocanito gels in toilets all over the world. I'll call it the Great Chocanito Toilet Gambit. What? No one will go to the bathroom without finding my gels. 
I think everyone will have a lot of fun. So, so it's poop colored right. then. So you, okay. Yeah, it's weird, but I think it's funny too. Oh, right? Uh, I knew that kids would get it. Who's a kid? But all the adults in my village called it silly and lowbrow. They forbade me from selling my Choco Nido gels at all. Isn't that just horrible? That's the most ridiculous thing they've ever heard. From both well, sides of this man, conversation. <laughs> things used to be so much better. Mom would make me dinner, and all I had to do was go, 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 go. And everyone would smile and praise me. I you remember that shit? Fuck. I'm a grown-up who can't find any fun in looking for gels in toilets. You that have really such strange problems, my dear boy. Hold on to those problems. Hold on to those problems. Because one day you'll have to deal with taxes. So I'm just going to say the name that he came up with for him. It sounded like it was... Chocolate and tomato, not chocolate and fish. Chocolatito? Yeah. Um, it's Benito. Benito. So chocolate and Benito flakes, which Benito flakes is just dried fish. Mm, fair enough. If I remember correctly. I should talk to the general store. Hello. I'm here to buy your shit. Yes, that's all it is. Shit! <laughs> yeah. Don't call people stuff out. I know. I was I've just... had to tell off several people. So I want some of that crap. I'm like, don't call our food crap. Oh, I would never do that to food. Yeah. It's one of my favorites is people are like, why do you not want me to call? You know, it's like, can I get some of that mush? I'm like, it's not mush. It's oatmeal. Well, what difference does that make? Mush implies it's, you know, something, you know, trashy. And it's just whatever you can throw together. We, we don't make lowbrow food here. <laughs> I don't mean to sound like a snob, but that sort of talk has actually put off certain, some patients from trying some new food. Right. I get so you. So it's like, okay, please don't refer to the food in such a lowbrow way because it's just going to put off, you know, people trying new food. Which has been a number of times I'm like, you can hate the food all you want, just don't say it in the serving line. Mm-hmm. Right, kids. So I have a lot of maintenance to deal with. <laughs> Hmm? What? No. No. I was really hoping since we were playing in the evening, paperclip would, you know, see we're doing for Siri. Uh, come straight to us. Doesn't he have trouble finding our Twitch stuff? I don't know. I mean, that's why I shared it to Discord. Since P's on there. Because, yeah. yeah, the last couple streams I've done, admittedly, I'm probably not streaming at the best time for everybody, but it's when I have time to stream. Oh, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. It's just the only one who's been able to tune in is Endangered, which has led to some good one-on-one -on -one conversations, especially since we both love Mass Effect and Dragon That's Edge. good. So it's like, yeah, it's great. And I can't complain about it. Like, I just need one person to have a conversation with that'll help keep me talking. But I'm hoping to catch up with Paperclip. But who knows? He might show up later. I have not been able to get you a new talisman for fucking forever. 
Uh, Brokoro? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, so am I the only one who thinks that those circles on her daggers look like they're desperately trying to be a gunblade? Oh, that's to Well, I have seen daggers like that, but yes. Oh. Oh, okay, I've just never seen a dagger sheet hilt with holes in it's that. It's supposed to let you quickly flip them. Uh, that actually makes sense. If that I remember correctly. I could be making up bullshit. Okay, I mean, there's no shit like bullshit. Okay. Uh, let's... Continues. Not the right chest I was looking for now. Where's the end? Right by the out. This is what I wanted. Can mm, spirit. Money, money. In future uploads. I'm getting stuck on people. Oh. That's not good. Now it's gonna be out of order, I think. Maybe you should consider, uh, okay. you know, not wearing magnets and having magnets in your pocket all the time. What? <sighs> You're getting stuck on people, so I say maybe you should stop carrying magnets with you all the time. And now I'm thinking about the court scene from the court jester where his armor gets magnified. Oh, jeez. Well, let's hope I can gather the spirits I need for the chest back there. I believe in you. Okay. I also believe in duct tape, the freedom of speech, and Chuck Norris. Okay. <laughs> No, maybe I should actually say Sega Tassa. We could use a place to stay. Any rooms open? Yep. Just finished cleaning, in fact. You can help yourself to that room there. Oh, no pay? Sweet. It's time to start deciphering this scroll. Let's wait somewhere outside so Grim can concentrate. Um, do you think maybe I could stay and watch? I really do want to study the ancient tongue. I promise I'll be quiet and not get in your way, teacher. What did you just say, child? Teacher? Uh, that I'd be quiet and... No, what did you call me? Teacher? You said you didn't want to be called ma'am, so I thought maybe that'd work. Yes, satisfactory. <laughs> oh, you got an ego and I kind of like teach it. teach you how to read ancient Averroes. Well, she is voice Thank you so God. much, teacher. <laughs> Fuck yeah. We'll leave you two alone then. Let us know if anything comes up. Hey, the sun came out. Let's see, man. Is that not what you meant by let you know if something came up? The fuck? Hmm? What's up? I wish to talk to this man. When this? I oh. I'm just giving up? Polymedes is Amenoch's temple. The priestess isn't the only one whose job it is to protect that temple. It's the duty of everyone born in this village. 
Why did the Abbey need Amenocha's temple badly enough to risk causing this much unrest? But how will we protect our village from the demons if the Abbey abandons us? Besides, we won't be able to do business with the people of his salt anymore. Our faith in Amenocha has nothing to do with the demons. When the priestess gets back, I'm going with her to protest. The demon blight changed everything. Will we never be able to return to the way things were? The way things were. I, Velvet, you should move to this town. Everyone feels the same way you do. Yep. Listen, I don't know what they told you in Isolt, but our village has its own traditions. This village is under the divine protection of the Imperian Amenoch. For unbroken centuries, a line of his priestesses guided us. I feel like I know that us. name. They are tasked with performing so, the sacred rites of worship. And, and sometimes, uh, they even deliver us his words and will. And there's still a priestess today? Of course. And her daughter is training to become our next priestess. Although, I sometimes feel they push themselves too hard. Both mother and daughter are giving their all for Haria. But the Abbey doesn't care about any of that. And they stole our temple from us. By force? An exorcist named Teresa came and heard us out. But from the very beginning, she always intended on taking our temple. Her words may have been kind, but that doesn't change the fact that she demanded that we worship her god, Enomenat. In all the years we've worshipped Amenoch, not once did we ever try to force others to adopt our beliefs. Why I love I you people so, so much. About? You guys are the best. I don't have a problem with anyone who has a different belief system than mine. It's when you start trying to force the issue that you become... Uh, the issue. <laughs> you become genital malformations. Dude, you know what I'm crazy. So she right digs now. being called teacher. Chocolate. Well played, Laffy said. She wasn't so fond He's of man. Okay, so I guess he figured he no. needed an alternative. <laughs> you can tell how badly he wanted to help her with the language he work. Okay. Boys finally finding okay. <laughs> so it would seem. For when else would we have time? I don't what know. What I'm not making it. Between the violent We're demon the Teresa the mentioned stream. and this village, couldn't tell you. But it's so on brand. You cooking in the back? This village doesn't look like it's been attacked. In a but long time. we haven't recorded with if people in a long time. Semantics, honey. <laughs> you really will use anything and everything towards your own aims, won't you? Yes. Yep. And that includes you, as I'm sure you've noticed. Yeah, you better look down at the ground like, oh, nose, I've been caught. Fuck you. Sorry, what? Um, just call, we we were calling each other out, basically. Yeah. Yo. It sounds like deciphering the text might take some time. Now they'll be we done as soon as I'm done talking to all you. That's how this Hopefully works. Hopefully it'll all be worth it in the end. I hope so, too. But ancient Avarost is complex. It's not just a matter of knowing the grammar and vocabulary. Oh? Then how exactly do you read it? You I'm not Carmack sure about the specifics Gelad myself, but from what I understand, you kind of have to intuit a lot the of it. The fuck? What? A language based on guesswork? Thanks, the old Darmok, dead people. Darmok. You're officially the worst. Agreed. I mean, on it, I mean... Eleanor Vellet, Darmok, Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra. What are you saying? It's from Star Trek. You're... Oh. Is it, it Klingon? Was, no, actually, that was one of the few episodes I saw before Netflix was a thing, and honestly, it was one of the more interesting ideas I ever saw put forward by Star Trek. Specifically, this was Captain Picard's, you know, cast. They were trying to enter diplomatic relationships with another species, but open, the episode opens with every attempt so far has failed due to their bizarre way of communicating. Well, that's how they talk about They talk about... And the one they focus on is Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra, but all their conversation seems to be about talking about something that's not present to the situation. Well, when Captain Picard gets stranded on a planet with the alien's captain, he's able to figure out they communicate through uh, common stories that people know. Like, um, for example... Uh, if I wanted to tell someone that you and me were sitting on the couch playing video games, they'd say something like, Danny and Aaron, um, uh, playing video games. Oh. And that's how they'd convey, that's how they convey conversation. That's confusing as fuck. Really interesting. Yeah. The Abbey sure knows how to oppress the populace. 
I'd imagine that comes part and parcel with spreading the good word. Other gods would only get in the way. From what we overheard, it sounds like they've taken over Amenocha's temple, Palamedes, to use as their base of operations. Sealing it off would be provocative enough, but straight up taking it over? Not a lot of so-called reason to that. Unless... Do you think they need it for some other purpose? Shrug. <laughs> But yeah, it was an interesting episode seeing Picard try to learn about their mythology so we could figure out how to talk to them. <sighs> oh, ancient Avarost. You have the obstinacy of a spurned lover who refuses to move on. Even for you, teacher? It's this one crucial line. I can't wrap my head around it. You try Loppy set. Uh, well, from what you've taught me so far, it looks like it says Sa Popo Mucho Sanchon. Popo. Correct, but if you merely translate it word for word, it ends up saying the parent hates tomatoes, the child eggplant. Yo! Yo! I Isn't that a Zelia 2 reference? Parent hates tomatoes. Child. That's Sometimes Azealia too. Right? Yo! <laughs> and even then, you require leaps of logic and flashes of intuition. That is Azealia too. Reference. Reordering. So like, San San, Pocho Pocho, Pocho Musan, Pocho Musan. Can you read it that way? Pocho Musan. Now, where did you get that from? The script. These words are lined up, like they repeat. And when I read this part that same way, it just felt right. Pocho Musan. Hmm. If that's repeated here, then the passage turns into... The Nameless Empyrean. Empyrean! Ho-ho, oh, that has to refer to Innominat. I think we're on to something. All right, so if we apply this rule here, then... Hmm, hmm. It would seem to be a book of children's counting songs. It's not about Innominat? What matters is what the song says, child. And I think you will be very interested in the words. Oh, so it's like Marco's cookbook from Full Metal Alchemist. Gotcha. Ooh. I wonder if they've made any progress yet. Shall we go check on them? Um, no. Progress is Zelia's theme song. <laughs> Your theme song is called Burn. Well, that was a fun thing to catch. I'm, I'm happy. I think, I'm impressed. You, well, then again, Zelia 2 is your favorite Tales game. It is. So you would remember the details of that game a lot better than I would. I mean, let's face it. I've been drooling about every little Symphonia reference. So, yeah. You are allowed. Again, I do want to gush over just how much I love the simplistic design of this town. I love towns like these. Yeah. Very. So, um, uh, just when they were translating it, Pocho, Mucho, or whatever, I'm like, uh, Team Four Stars, Doctor Mr. Popo uh. being racist. Jeez. <laughs> well, any results? Her eyes right there look like they want yes. to see Yes, well, thanks to the boy here. As it turns out, he has quite the knack for languages. He hacked it. <laughs> Only because I've got the best teacher. Flattered will get you everywhere. Careful, honey tongue. You'll give this old girl idea. Ew. Huh? I mean, they're technically... Now, child, I'm sure they're curious Sarah about the song. Still! Why don't you read it aloud? Yes, teacher. Song? Eight-headed is the lord of the land, with seven mouths to devour malevolence. Through pulses of earth doth base nature's flow, as he awaits the time of awakening. Oh. Oh, those Four were each heads. Four may tear him asunder, but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therians shall be forever reborn in sight of the full crimson moon. The nameless Empyrean hath one heart. The nameless Empyrean hath one body. Uh, Therians? 
Essentially, this ancient text you found is an annotated volume of drawings and songs pertaining to Enominot. Annotated? Then hurry up and just tell us what it means. I'm sorry. So far, we've only figured out how to read the song lyrics. All right. Oh, look at you showing some patience. I take it we're still in for a good long wait before it's thoroughly decrypted. Likely so. But if we want to find out what the Abbey is up to, we need to know what's in this book, no matter how long it takes. I love how Rokoro's kind of the voice of reason, despite hmm. the fact that he's objectively What the Abbey's the up to, is class. it? I think we can learn much, even from the lyrics alone. The drawings depict him with eight heads. One of them belongs to his main body, but the other seven are his mouths. Those mouths consume malevolence, sending it along earth pulses back to that main body so he can awaken. The seven monsters fitting that description are called Therians. Right. We're a Therian, right? Now, as for this malevolence, I have no idea what that means. Hmm. What about the second part? I haven't studied much ancient history, but it said this world was created by four Empyreans. Earth, water, wind, and fire. Oh, okay. Four but spirits. they also call Enominot an Empyrean. Perhaps a war broke out between Enominot and the other Empyreans. That resulted in him being sealed away. Why the fuck are but we? There is <laughs> someone to connect with this the divine Abbey power. The Therians will keep spawning, and just like that, Enominot will be revived. If we assume that Shepherd Artorius fits that bill, and that he's trying to reawaken Enominot, everything lines up. Which means our job is to find these Therians and cut off Enominot's heads, so to speak. But where do we even start looking for them? Remember. The song states that the Therians and Enominot's body are connected through Earth pulses. Oh, we gotta go back to those places then. Fun. If their job is to feed Enominot, the most effective place to position them would be at the Earth pulse points. Points? The place is where the power of Earth pulses is concentrated. Where you feel funny, Places boy. With that sigil. Hey! Remember the barrier that was keeping this bug in the forest? Are you one of the heads? <laughs> yeah. Wait, are you trying to say that thing's a Therian? And yet, it would explain why the Abbey was keeping it locked up. And there was that same barrier at the villa, too. Oh yeah, the scary griffin that ate a dude. And That's that right. Do you suppose it ate the malevolence! Oh! Does that mean the Therians all come in different forms? Our village was an Earth Should Pulse, we go to wasn't it? Check? Velvet. We've just but started deciphering the book. Pulse, I'd hate to lose guy? time on some fool's errand. Oh yeah, I'd she was eating people there. I'd rather more about what's in it before we make a move. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Something bothering you, Grim? This line... The one about Therians being forever reborn. What the shit? Child, are you okay? I just felt the same thing as I did in Warg Forest. I'm sorry, what? You're gonna lead us to a Therian? The needle's pointing in the direction of Amenoch's temple. You fucking know that? Damn. Do I recall hearing that the Abbey took that over? Temples and ritual sites are often built on places thought to be rich in spiritual energy. Earth pulses. Could the temple possibly be an earth pulse point? There's lots of earth pulse points scattered all over the world. If there's only seven Therians, most of them will be empty. It's not like we have any better leads. Yeah. If there's even a chance, shouldn't we go check it out? Better than sitting around waiting on the book. If nothing else, we'll find out what Luffy said is sensing. Hmm. Just a theory, but if you were to kill a Therian. What? Hmm. I guess there's only one way to find out. Never mind. 
Good luck out there. Or tell me so I know what the fuck I'm about to get myself into. Oh. No? Okay, bye. What? My microphone hasn't been hooked up this whole time. Oh, whoops. There. That should do. Oh, my bolt's back. Your bolt is back, yeah? Boy, this is a perfect win, yeah? Scout ship setting sail. Oh, what a bon voyage. Um, would you, uh, take me off Rokuro, put me back in Eleanor? Oh. I don't know why it swapped. Because the party disbanded. I have to fight too? Yes! yes! Shut up, Officer. You're one of my healers. I mean, I guess I could swap in. No. No, no, this is good. This is yeah. Fine. It's like, sorry, Luffy said this game doesn't have a dedicated healer, and you're the best, you're the closest to that, Bill. I mean, I could swap him in for, um... Aizen. For Aizen, but I would rather have my sweet boy. Mm-hmm. You want to have your little cinnamon bun? Yes. So, yeah, the plot thickens. I'm... Okay, I know that... Okay, I'm surprised Rokuro, because Rokuro knows Velvet's a Therian. I'm surprised he didn't bring it up while you guys were talking. Probably because we all know that we have a spy amongst us. Oh, mm, good point. Good point. That or who knows, maybe Rokuro's already forgotten because he's a bit one-track. Yeah, might as well see if we can go back and get the Ting. It's not the Northern Gate. Yeah. What's supposed to be by the Northern Gate? The scene. I mean, there's a. I think there's a gate on the other side of town that's on the north that leads to the temple. Oh, well, I could go back though. Yeah, I'll Oops. try and go back to get this cat box all figured out. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna have to grind cat spirits for a minute. Cat spirits. Spirits of cats. Cat spirits. Thunder, 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 thunder. Thundercat spirits. I that's I don't know the rest of the song. I never watched Thundercats. Cat spirits ho! I just seem to be a sponge for you know random you know TV show trivia that I know absolutely nothing about. You just realized this? No, I'm just more. I'm just more because uh. One of my co-workers the other day was like, he was trying to be like, don't you think, you know, so he says, don't you think E-Gamma's like one of the best story arcs in a video game? I'm like, what the hell is E-Gamma? Um, uh, because it sounded like it's not, are you saying E-Gad? But then it kind of made me realize, I'm like, you know, I'm able to retain information about video games so well, I often trick people into thinking that I know more about a game than I actually do. Um, now in this particular case, though, I found out afterwards he was trying to say Gamma from Sonic D DX. I'm like, okay, why are you saying E-Gamma then? Well, that's his name. I'm like, no, no, no. E-Gamma is his designation. It's his serial code. Gamma is his name, and that's what everyone knows him as. Plus, when you're saying it super fast, E-Gamma. <laughs> I wish I do Sonic better. Yeah. But I don't, and that's okay. Plus, it's something I find kind of funny. It's like, he was like, man, it's such a good story. I'm like, I wonder why it's, it was so good. I'm like, because Sonic very rarely does, you know, deep storytelling. So whenever they try and kind of succeed, it sticks out more. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's like, you know, he's, you know getting self-awareness and sacrificing himself. I'm like, that was such a good story. I'm like, it's a very played out story. But yeah, it's a, it's a good one. And I can see it as... If it's your first exposure to that story arc, I can see it sticking with you pretty strongly. Only downside to this area uh -huh. is the water is sometimes hard. And it's, I thank God for the mini-map. Yep. But it's sometimes very difficult to um, tell what can be tell walked what's on. to be walked on. <laughs> Bad enough. Oh, so... Probably should have said this when we first started, but 
For those who, um, uh, sadly, since we lost the sound in our last episode, the only substantial story thing you missed was meeting up with, uh, Orgrim, the, uh, Norman who was helping translate the book. She is, uh, uh Mazulu's friend. Also, we came across the incestuous duo, uh, taken over this island, but they kind of recapped that a little bit in this episode, so we should be good there. Now, the brother's not no. into it, right? I don't think so. Just how does this sword work? <laughs> don't touch it. You'll hurt yourself. In other words, the rest of her is fair game. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll Not unless you really want to get hurt. Um, I think when we do eventually get, you know, creepy, when we get the bitch sister's backstory, we'll get more of an explanation as to why she feels that way, but I don't 100% recall. Those two were probably my least favorite part of this game. Both because of the creep factor and because they were just, or her, she in particular is just such a loathsome character. And not loathsome in the kind of character you love to hate. I'm talking the villains from Tales of Symphonia 2 kind of love, you know, hate. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they're just annoying. Sorry, you've. I know you haven't played Tales of Symphonia 2, so I should probably come up with an example you can more relate to. Zogi. Yeah. I am concentrating on fighting cat spirits anyway, so it's fine. Hmm. <sighs> I remember for the longest time I kept forgetting there was that coconut thing washing around in the surf. So I kept seeing it moving. I'm like, what is that? And then I'm like, what demon is this? It's just a background animation. It's nothing to get your knickers in a twist. Though I've got broccoli on my shirt. I don't think about broccoli on my shirt. Plus the early flash days. Yeah. Back before YouTube dominated everything. I miss when Blip was still a thing. That was like a golden age of creator content on YouTube. Or not on YouTube, on the internet. I feel like the Blip age didn't last long enough for that to be a true statement. That's fair. I do know that, you know, the abridged era came and went with Blip, sadly. Penguins. There is a awesome side quest later in the game that deals with those guys. Probably my favorite one of no, I take it back. The side quest with Videl, I think that was his name. Yeah, we, we Oh, we started his side quest in the last oh episode. Okay, so Videl, um What's the word I'm looking for? He's a kid that you met in that we met in that harbor town that was controlled by the Exorcist that we had to pass through in order to get the antidote for the crew members. He was researching the Mega Elixir. And we I, we helped him get the first ingredient, I think. Yeah. yeah. Or translate the No, it worked yeah. it. We did get it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. We won, right? Point is, right? other than Videl's store, you know, side quest. I think it's a side quest. Maybe it's main story, but I'm pretty damn it's sure. It's side quest. Yeah. Um, the one with the, uh, the side quest with, involving the Penyons, that's my next favorite side quest that you get to do in this game. Did you teleport, motherfucker? I think it just spawned in. I think enough time had passed since we killed that last enemy that Everything the game was reset. written. Yeah. And it just, it happened to, we just happened to run past the starting spawn zone. This one? No. Uh, oh, whatever. Finish casting this spell. Oh, uh, okay, I guess. I, I guess my cleanse or whatever can't get rid of curse. 
Oh wait, I guess that's poison, not yeah, curse. Yeah, it's poison. Now, I can definitely appreciate them trying to maximize all characters' usefulness by not having a dedicated healer. By the same token, I do kind of prefer... I need a dedicated healer. Yeah. Still, no, I take it back. Tales of Hearts had a similar problem, but by the same token, you can make a very strong argument that Hisui was still technically the dedicated healer of the game. Because yeah, the problem with Tales of Hearts is that you had Kalisodone, Kohaku, and Hisui who all knew healing arts. But Hisui was the only one who knew an extensive amount of healing arts, so... He did ultimately become the dedicated healer. Which I was okay with, because when I first started playing the game, I'm like, well, Kuhaku, she knows some basic healing arts, so ergo, she's going to be the dedicated healer. And it's like, nope. The brother with the two finger guns is the, <laughs> is the dedicated healer. Oh, there was a really funny um, uh, skit you can get in Tales of Heart that I want to share. So, uh, Hisui, you know, he had two... He had two weapons that attached to his wrist that basically gave him finger guns, but there's some conversations you can get where it's like, oh yeah, the reason why he's able to shoot arrows out of his, you know, weapons is because that's what he's imagining will come out, and that's what fits his personality. So all the other party members steal his weapons just to see what will shoot out if someone else does it. His sister steals it, and it shoots out miso soup. The artist steals it and it shoots out paint. I don't remember what everyone else did, but of course, they tested it out by all shooting Hisui with the weapons. Yeah. Like, oh, poor Hisui. We won, right? right? Oh well. Hisui got an adorable romantic tragic or tragic romance in the game. Okay. Do I have a good chance? Is this a town? Yeah, it's the Dock town. What do you ask? I'm just trying to debate how to properly farm. Well, cast spirits right now. No. Yeah, well, the way we got to do it is we got to go to a new area, so Fair they'll enough, respawn. So, so we got to go in the town one way or the other. Fair enough. Hopefully, and there's usually cat spirits in towns too. So. Yep. Hello. I'm here for spirits, for souls. Oh shit. Well, uh, the bar's that way. No, we're not going to play that game again. Nope. Not until I need to later. Yep. You know, the only problem I have with that game is, you know, you go until someone's allowed to quit. And since the AI doesn't quit until, you not know. Not usually. It does yeah. in a dozen harder difficulties. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, well. It does make it a lot easier to win, even if we don't have more points, because it's not a who has more points, it's who banks their points. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, eh, I won't complain. And I know I was complaining, but I'm now starting to realize, okay, I'll stop complaining. Mmm, penguin. Oh, that's right. Eleanor was like, I know how to cook them, you monster! Yeah. And then we started talking about cooking their eggs, because mm -hmm. those are delectable, and Vel Velvet is just like, and I'm the monster, apparently. What the fuck? I know that also triggered my hatred of uh, the caviar farming industry, yeah. because it's putting several species of sturgeon, you know, it's, uh, it has put a good number of species of sturgeon on the critically endangered list, and can put, is prob and is potentially going to drive the beluga sturgeon to extinction at this rate. People suck. Yep. Just want cat spirits. I know the next cat box is going to be empty, but I don't want to fuck shit up. Can I get out behind you, sir? What was that? Oh, I found a cat spirit. Fuck yeah. Excuse me. I need 184. 
<laughs> Welcome to Doomoth, such a perfect town. No, I don't know why I'm singing this song right now. <sighs> then again, with just all the other crap I've been humming and singing today, I'm like, I don't even know how or why most of this crap has been getting in my head today. I don't know today. why you even question yourself anymore. <sighs> because I feel like I need to just so people don't call, you know... Uh, the, the white, police, the, the people in the white, white coats. Yeah, the white coats. The, yeah. Your coworkers. Yep. <laughs> Granted, I know most of them be like, okay, no, we're not putting up. No, we're not we going to. put up with him. No, we don't need him living here. It's like, we already have to put up with him serving us our meals. We don't want him on the unit, too, where we can't get away from him. <laughs> and again, maybe they'd initially Maybe be they like, need that, though. <laughs> Maybe initially be like, let's get some revenge. I'm like, haha, bitch, please. <laughs> okay. I guess that we've milked this place. We've uh, there's another area we can go to. That this this Hi. town's a two parter. See that little bridge in the uh, bottom left hand corner? Oh yeah. Do I really want to go all the way back though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. yeah you do. Yeah, I do. We We've milked this place. Now we need to find some. We need some find some other udders to squeeze and parts mm. yonder. Hot chocolate. No, I'm not making hot chocolate either. Oh. Can't I has one? No. I do it myself, but I'm the one playing. Yes, you are. I'm proud of you. My chocolate cravings are severe. <laughs> like I said, I've got chocolate with caramel back there. What is it? It's Milky Ways. Oh. Uh, yeah. Don't like Milky Ways. Mm hmm. I like the, like the midnight Milky Ways. Yeah, I know. With like the those. nougats. No bueno. No like dark chocolate. It's just dark chocolate musketeers. It's fine. Mm. That's probably actually why I like them. Mm hmm. And I do have a taste for dark chocolate. I've <sighs> lost my taste for white. Or, I mean, like, I'll eat it, but, like, it's mm -hmm. not my favorite. Yeah. So, do you still, so is that why you stopped buying Hershey's cookies and cream bars? Mm hmm. Mm. I'd rather just have a plain old Hershey bar, a Three Musketeer, or something with a kiss of dark chocolate. But that's what we used to, you know, buy and feed each other when we were dating. Kind of. I mean, more often than not, we would just inhale them and try to eat each other's fingers when we tried to steal each other's chocolates. Yeah, I think I would I'd try to bite your head off when I got my chocolate stolen. <laughs> Why'd you get your chocolate stolen? If you stole it. On the very few occasions. Very early in our dating. I don't remember ever stealing chocolate from you. I think you did as a joke and I got scary. You were like, nope! <laughs> Never again! So sorry, demons! will never be touched again. I love how the cat spirits rent loaded before the thing that Good. is, you know, hiding. I would hiding never in. have noticed. There are so many parts to this town. Yep. It's ridiculous. Wait a sec. So, something I just kind of realized, I just remembered from, I was just kind of thinking about, um, the translate, was they were translating the book, you know, the Therians devour malevolence. Mm -hmm. uh, malevolence is not a term that's been used in this game at all since it's Oh yeah, been that's why they were blight. confused. Yeah, because uh, people turning into monsters is caused by demon blight. That's right. It's not... That's interesting that it gets retranslated in later years back to malevolence. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I wonder I, what made us lose it. Yeah, I also kind of wonder, I mean, it's the same reason why, thing, I'm like, so why are they called Malachin in this time period, but Seraph and Zestiria and then demons here and then Hellions and, yeah, it's, I don't think it's Language ever Language is weird. Yeah. Language has always been fucking weird. I think we'll have to leave. I don't think the cat spirits will have responded here because no. we're still technically. I'm just heading to the exit. No, I know. Go back to the level. I'm just more saying let's not 
waste our time hunting for spirits because I don't think they're going to spawn. Really close, I think. Yeah, you got, I think, 150. I need 184. Yep. Then I'll have to just pray I can get, keep gathering enough for the next chest. Live mm. in a prayer. Thanks for the sound effects. The game does that enough. Well, I was I'm, I'm working on those sound effects for some. That thing does fucking teleport. Fuck you, tree. Maybe it teleports to tree. Fuck you. I mean, it wants to fuck you up, so I think that's kind of the idea. Uh, hi. Ah! I am Tree, and I am Sand, and we are going to fuck you up. Ah! Yeah, that thing teleports. Fuck you, I hate it. Oh, so, you know, speaking of, you know, just slowly, you know, well, just since we're starting to slowly get drip-fed some more rules of the world and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So, in my D&D campaign that I've been running for nearly three years now, and for the record, it's been taking so long because we could only usually meet for an hour to two hours every other week, so that's why it's been taking so long. Um... And we have a tendency to waste our time rather than actually play. Anyway, um, they finally got a big payoff to something I've been drip feeding them for a while. And then I pointed out, I'm like, hey, guys, stop and think about the implications about what this means. And they're all like, it means this, it means that. I'm like, okay. I mean, you're technically right, but you're not thinking deep enough here. Like, think about what this actually means. It's like, well, it means that this person did that. I'm like, well, yeah, that's not an implication. I flat out stated that. <laughs> Think about the implication of what, because this character did that one thing, what does that imply? Oh, that this character, I'm like, yes, the character is evil. I, I actually flat out told you that at one point saying, this character is meant to be the irredeemable villain that has no redeeming qualities and you're still supposed to hate another character more than he is. Well, fuck. So I'm like, what does this imply? <laughs> They're like, ah, whatever. They'll find out next time we meet. Maybe. Maybe, depending on how slow we are. I hope that costume fit the baby. Oh, I can ask him at some point. That'd be nice. Mm hmm I was very worried about that. Yeah, I mean, you've never done anything quite like that, especially... I mean, the closest I've made was maybe the hats <laughs> I made for uh, Matt and his boy when they first had their when they had their first kid. Yeah. But that was an eternity ago, and that was just hats. Yeah. Which, and oh yeah, Matt, you're a... Uh, uh, Triforce Bun. Yeah, the, yeah, the creator of um, yeah. Tadpole Trouble. Yeah. Sorry, just since the guy who commissioned this costume was also named Matt, I had to take a minute to oh. pick. Oh, oops. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't help that at least in the case of the hat you made for Matt, as well as the hats you made for me, the hat you made for me, our right. heads aren't changing size anymore. Yeah, the babies does. Yeah. Also, um, I just have the issue of having too tight of stitches. Yeah. So when I follow a pattern, I have to I have to make them bigger than mm -hmm. the pattern even recommends for a, a child or something. And it's like, oh. That's why I'm very much a person that's like, you better send me fucking deets. Like, mm -hmm. measurements galore, I swear. But with kids, it's impossible. Yeah. So I just, uh, I pray. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of funny. Um, so I was, uh, looking, I was in a costume shop today. I was kind of just looking for some costume pieces that I could maybe use uh, in Evermore. Mm -hmm. Didn't find them, but what I did find was I found two prop swords from my older brother's favorite book series, as well as a costume for his favorite character. And I'm like, hey, you want me to buy these for you? He's like, yeah, get them for me. I'm like, okay, just to let you know, the costume is size medium. 
And he's like, that's not going to fit me, because costume sizes run smaller. Yep, they usually... Well, it depends on the cart maker. Yeah, sure. but even still, he's like, even if it didn't run smaller, I need a large costume. I'm like, that's fair. So I just ended up getting him the swords. That's cool, though. It was an interesting find. I mean, especially since... I didn't even know they made those costumes. Yeah, I didn't know they made them either, especially since, like, they were... There Isn't was that <laughs> book series been, like... Not a thing for a while? No, the series is still ongoing. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that author is not going to stop writing about that character unless, you know, Wizards of the Coast let it tells them no more. They would never do that. Yep. But, you know, what's also kind of funny is, you know, next to the props and this co swords and this costume, there was a costume of Dungeon Master from the D&D cartoon. Fuck? It had the fake bald wig and everything. So weird. I'm like, ah, oh, that's that's fun. Okay. Uh, okay. The morning approach the northern. Mm-hmm. Hubble, hubble, hubble. Do you want to walk around for cat spirits some more? Um, I'll be coming back into town. But... Well, yeah, but if you leave town and, you know, or do you mean like you won't be physically leaving town? No, I will be. No. I'll, I'll do the hunt. It'll just be kind of instantaneous, so I don't know if they'll come back, but yeah. worth a shot. Right, yeah. we can't get out that way. But, yeah. Who knows? Maybe if he's able to actually get the rest of that costume, maybe he'll actually want to go to Evermore more. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it, too, because even if he likes the character, I just don't see him actually getting into He character. would not roleplay it whatsoever. Nope. Seth is not a role player. Nope. That's a huge appeal of Evermore is being able to role play. You should totally crochet him a, you know, panther. To, you know, stick on his shoulder since... Why a panther? Because, uh... For, ta for the record, the character in question is Dritzed from the Forgotten Realm series. I was wondering why we were being vague. Um, mostly just because I didn't plan on getting into too much detail. Um... Just because I don't know anything really about the Forgotten Realm series, so Fair enough. I didn't want people asking my opinions on things that I don't. Because, like I said earlier, I can sometimes convince people I'm an expert on something I know nothing about, whether I mean to or not. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, because Drit, oh brother, demons, demons, spam risk, nothing to worry about. Demons. But um, Dritz can summon. He has a. Uh, pet panther that he can summon from the ethereal plane huh. or huh. something like that i don't remember he's got a little he's got a little onyx figure that he can summon a panther from cool. the yeah oh it's good me you're, no, 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 no. you're excused. In fact, when he went when he bought his weapons at Evermore, mm -hmm. he was like, "Hey, I don't think I can mimic the main, you know, Dritz fighting style because, you know, I'm not ambidextrous, but maybe I can mimic his arch rival because he just uses a sword and dagger." Ah. Hello. Who are you? The innkeeper's daughter. I just... You're cute. I happened to overhear you all talking about going to Palamedes and... Did you report us to the Abbey? Report? But you already have an exorcist with you. Oh, if yeah. If you have any business, talk with her then. You've been You're summoned! A... You're a public relations officer. Eleanor Hume, an exorcist with the Abbey. How might I be of service? I want you to look for someone. A mother and her child went to visit the Abbey grounds, but they haven't returned. So the priestess and the priestess's Before daughter? Missing? Yes. The mother's name is Mahina. She's a priestess okay. of Amanoch. And her little daughter's name is Kamoana. Hold on. Is there a red moon if she's soon? a priestess of Amenoch, right? Ever since the Abbey booted her out from the temple, she's been regularly going back to make her objections heard. But one day, she never returned home. 
And now her daughter has disappeared too. I hate this goddamn Abby. I can only assume that she went to go look for her mother. And you believe they're being held at the temple? Oh no, ma'am. I just... I just can't imagine Mahina would abandon her daughter like that. Kamoana is next in line to succeed her, so she's had a strict upbringing, but her mother truly loves her. Please forgive Mahina for her protests. I was just hoping you could use the Abbey's resources to track them down. I will do everything in my power to find them. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Like I Kamoana, I, I grew voice, up with only my mother as family. I can't help hmm? but worry for them. Oh, sorry, the person they're talking of to, course. I swear I know that voice, but I don't know who is. Let's be off, Miss Exorcist. By the way, I might have made this joke already, but since you have Eleanor and Velvet wearing the opposite earrings, I just am now envisioning them fusing together Dragon Take Ball Z style. Scout ship <laughs> Velvenor. Elovit. This is all your fault for letting your tongue wag. Those Cretans already took our temple away from us. Why did you- Leave her alone, bastards! I never intended for this to happen, I swear. But they asked me a question, so I couldn't not answer. You should have just lied to them. Kamoana hasn't been back in days now. This is all your- So that's what happened. She asked us to look for them because she felt guilty. Hey, did you know that in our grandfather's grandfather's time, South Gend used to be an independent nation? Yes. Midgand acted nice with us at first, asking us if we wanted to form a republic. But once they realized that we didn't have a king, they changed their tune and declared war. Well, we got rightly angry and joined together to fight them off. We met the attacking Royal Navy on the high seas. So there was a naval battle? Yeah. If we had taken them up on their initial offer, maybe we could have avoided unnecessary death. The war raged for ten years. By the end of it, both Midgand and Southgand were in tatters. What a waste. Midgand is much larger and more powerful than Southgand. Why did the war last so long? Every time Southgand was in danger, a big storm would show up and sink Midgand's fleet. Ah, it happened that's many why times. Worship. We Southganders started calling these storms Amenocha's Fury, or Amenocha's Divine Wind. Still, Midgand won, and Southgand was taken over. Right? Yeah, but even the great Midgand was forced to recognize Southgand's demands in the face of Amenoch's fury. Despite our loss, Midgand didn't interfere in our worship of Amenoch or lay their hands on our Until temple. Until today! But now the Abbey has seized Amenoch's temple. I just hope history doesn't repeat itself. Well, oh, no. Velvet, you want to start a war? That sounds right up your alley, girl. Ugh, I'm kind of surprised that that didn't at any point factor into her plans up to this point. It's like, start a war, mess with Artorius' plans. Start but, a war, make sure that he dies in said war. But yeah, By my hand. <laughs> maybe that's why she doesn't want to, because she doesn't want to run the risk of him dying in a fight that's with someone other than her. Fair enough, I guess. <sighs> oh, no. Okay. Sorry, just Aminoch reminds me of the song Amino. But okay. What? But okay. Leroy Jenkins. By the way, I didn't fully understand, you know, how the one girl was responsible for the little girl disappearing. I think she wasn't supposed to tell her that her mom was missing. Oh, uh, maybe. Okay. Now, I gotta admit, this is the one area... Oh. Eleanor, what's your game here? The mother and daughter, you mean? That's on me. I'll search for them myself. I don't care about that. Well, what then? Why are you actively helping us decipher the book when we're using it to thwart the Abbey's plans? 
You think I might be deliberately misleading you? Laying a trap of some sort for you all? Are you? I think you're a lot of things, demon. But foolish is not one of them. <sighs> I want to know the truth. I want to know what Lord Artorias is trying to accomplish. And there's something happening in the world right now. I want to know what it is. Unfortunately, little old Eleanor has never been deemed trustworthy enough to be given such information. So, my only option is to find out I feel like myself. I've said this before. You've got the mm -hmm. But is Eleanor, like, a possible and your ancestor of, two um... different paths. But something tells me Alicia. Alicia. To the same I've... I don't and think so it's ever outright stated, but that's my exactly. assumption. And, and even if she's not an ancestor of Eleanor, maybe she's an ancestor of Eleanor's teacher. I'm or not sure yet. Rose? As honest an answer as any. Shh, no, Rose way, is Rose is. It looks not like me. you'll be working with us for the near future. Yes. For now. As far as I'm hey, concerned, this game has I no connection to Rose. What is it? There's more connection. About I wonder the why. I've heard you call yourself a theory in Japanese influenced societies disappear by the time we get them? to Zestiria. No. I think it has less to do with them disappearing and more to do that's with and that um, bother you? Zestiria bother takes you? place in a much smaller no, portion of the world, so you just don't fair, ever run into them. And or I'm because sorry, there's like Then again, no the continents sh apparently crash together what? again at some point. Was that truly the reason Ceres chose me? And that's what made uh, Zestiria's land. Hmm. Velvet keeps picking on Madame Eleanor. They're total opposites, so I know they're just gonna clash sometimes, but Velvet takes it too far. So do you, you buddy. Really think they're totally so do you. opposite? If Madame Eleanor is a white lily, then Velvet is a black rose. Oh, so on if point. If Eleanor is a soaring pegasus, then Velvet is a wolf in the shadows. If Madame <laughs> Eleanor is a spaghetti <laughs> I don't follow you completely, but I think I get the point. <laughs> I'm sure you understand. The two have nothing at all in common. And since they don't share anything in common, some fighting now and then just can't be helped. Well, they both have beautiful hair. Okay, but we're talking a noble exorcist and an aloof demon. Eleanor sometimes treats you coldly. And Velvet has helped me more times than I can count. Madam Eleanor gives herself fully to the salvation of others, but Velvet is bent solely on revenge. That means they're both motivated by thoughts of others. <laughs> How is the cheerful and talkative Madam Eleanor at all the same as the brooding, taciturn Velvet? Both of them talk to me when it's just the two of us together. <laughs> You're just trying to be contrary. I'm only telling you what I've experienced. Plus, you're a dumbass, the Enfu. Actually, I feel that Madame Eleanor isn't really reaching out to me. It's all right if Eleanor doesn't want to talk to you. I'm here for you, Bien. No, no. You aren't alone. Leave him alone. That Don't touch that thing. It's dirty. Lonelier. You're only upset because you can't, you know. You two are opposites yourself. Because you can't, you know, be a perv. You can't huh? perv on. Yeah. Not be set. Plus. Don't touch it. And you don't know where it's been. You know, speaking of actually showing things, which helps you get behind characters, I like the fact that we got that scene of Artorius flat out telling Eleanor, yeah, no, you, you don't deserve that knowledge, so piss off. So I'm like, okay, showing why motivations, you know, establishing motivations rather than just telling us the motivations. It's nice. It helps the characters stand out better. Because you get to see the problem, not just told it. Now, again, being told something rather than being shown something can work in the right situation. I'm not saying that it can't. Because minor spoiler for Tales of Symphonia, if you get the optional um, a secret ending and Lloyd is told the story, like an in-depth story about how his mother was killed, you don't see it. It's all told to you by someone else who witnessed it, but it's very effective. But by the same token, that doesn't miss knowing this information doesn't drastically alter who Lloyd is as a character. It just gives him closure about something. I don't know. It's hard to explain, and I can't 
ever give a perfect definition of on it. What about this one? It's hungry. Well, I mean, her cards that she has currently equipped kind of look like a chef, if you look at it from the right angle, so... But yeah, what I was trying to say about this place, um, this is the only area in all of Berseria that I actually remember genuinely disliking because I just feel it's a little too long and same. That's usually the problem with a lot of water worlds. Yeah. It's like the swamp we were in. I thought every area was varied enough to make it stand out. Maybe not amazingly. It, it still was somewhat samey, but I still enjoyed the visuals, and I never felt that we were totally lost. But this one, it's samey, and it's built a little bit like a maze. I find it very linear so far. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's two way, there's two paths we can take. And if I remember correctly, some will lead you to a dead end that just has an item. So if you take the way that moves you forward, you gotta backtrack to go get the item, that sort of thing. Well, that won't be a problem. Because you have a guide. Yeah, I know. Since you have a guide, that's not gonna be an issue. But if you're playing it what? without a guide. Some knowledge is best kept secret. These papers mustn't be shown to anyone. The fuck is that? What? Huh? Yeah. Oh, hold up. Okay. Weird. Okay, flavor text, I why, guess? Why is that flavor texty? I don't know. Should I, like, equip them now? No? no. What's What's the silky paper say? These pages may fill... Huh. Why did this one... Oh, the rarity's nine. Oh. Oh, it's really oh. rare. Oh. So I got a fancy drop. Nice. Okay. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. To know the unknown. Huh. Why are you using missing no? Uh, I was about to say who invited the creature from Minecraft. Fair. Both work. <laughs> now all we need... Since we got missing no, now all we need is someone to, you know, carry around Lord Helix. No. Nope. Where are we going? I'm trying to... Find something. Yes, you did. There was something in my brain that wanted to be known. Oh my gosh, so many cat spirits. Come to mama. I need these. Holy shit. Yay.
Oh, I had stuff off. Whoops. around fine god damn it. um this thing is weak to earth do you need to change your arts no i think i've still got my earth okay so we oh damn you we will need to be Thing like in that screen looked like it was eating coffee sack. Oh no, no, that's not good. This thing must die. You must. It is resistant to fire and water. So I'm trying to cut. I got my earth spell cast, no problem, just a second ago. But... There we go. You have no. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you I was just sliding around everywhere right there. That was weird. I think this might be physically. Oh, oh dear. Oh, we're. Me and Lobby that are both down. Yep. Mogulu, keep him off me for a second. 
Still don't know how to aim this spell, so it's kind of just kind of go off at random. Thank you. Oh crap, it's coming for me, it's coming for me. Eleanor, cancel, oh, cancel the spell. Oh, never mind, he's... No, we're good. What the? I finished the spell? Why did it bring back Lofty Set? I don't know. There we go. Oh, I got it. Oh, I died. <laughs> yes, uh, Mogilu just, you know. Thank you, Mogilu. Just keep being a meat shield. That's everything I need. That's every single part. It's everything I need. Oh dear. Okay, I'm just gonna give myself a jump. You're, yeah, you're gonna... There we go. Almost dead. Fuck off. That was a considerably powerful enemy. Yes, it were. I think it's objectively the physical biggest enemy we fought thus far. Yeah. And it was another red hunt, so yay. More money! Is there anything else? Someday we need to invest in a webcam. Yeah. Someday. Someday. But not. But oh. today is not this day! <laughs> but it is not this day. Ugh. You alright? Yeah. I think my neck is still a little stiff from my stream from earlier today. So I have that since I have to kind of keep tilting my head to look at the computer to see if anyone's in the chat. Well, that's quite a bit of visual chaos that was going on on the screen all yep. at once. Welcome to this game. That's the end for you. What an easy victory. I am invincible. Okay. I actually kind of appreciate that they have different things they say with those animations rather than just, you know, the same thing over and over. Mm-hmm. You know, honey, it just occurred to me, we should have put everyone in their swimsuits for this level. <laughs> Don't actually do that, because I think it messes with Rokuro's uh, weapon. It does. Yeah. So. I think. I don't know. So, let's not actually do that. I just wanted to be... I just wanted to say it. You know what I kind of don't like about this game? What? Not having the tilt. The tilt? Like yeah. having all the different commands mapped to the buttons instead of the uh, direction of the... I can agree with that. I like I liked having a dedicated basic attack and then a dedicated arts you know, button that changes what arts you do based on the tilt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I vastly prefer that system to this one. I get that the idea is that this is meant to streamline the combat by not having, you know, TP or MP or, you know, whatever it's called in the various games. Just so it's... No, why? 
Oh, I died. Should I wanted you to heal Velvet Eleanor? I, st I, I still have no clue how to aim this. I don't even know what's going. Oh, we and died. I, I, now I am the dead. I know it doesn't help that I swear the healing arts in this game are. Are you less... set to main? No? Were you wondering if who was set to main? I was wondering if you were set to manual. Why? If you. I don't know. What thing? Um, seeing how it would help me with it. It's like, oh, I wonder if you were on manual. I refuse. Here. We'll say this game is definitely probably some of the most forgiving when it comes to how much grade you get at the end of a fight. This rocky shore just keeps going. Just don't step on any sea slugs, okay? Why not? What's the big deal? It's just that it isn't pretty. Their insides squish everywhere. Yikes. Squish. That sounds pretty traumatizing. Then again, if you pickle their innards, it makes for a great snack. You eat them? Okay. Oh, don't be a baby. You've had wars. <laughs> Forget the sea slugs. Try not to step on the coral. Good point. Coral is alive and needs our protection. Or maybe it's because some of it can be sold for jewelry. I didn't mean either of those reasons. Although Manon appears similar to Maclear Beach, it was formed by a completely different process. Now that you mention it, this area is covered by rocks. Maclear is just your average seashore. But Manon here was made by the slow corrosion of seaside caves. They were worn away by the waves? That too. But mainly, it was the handiwork of a rock-eating species of coral, known as ravening table coral. Stay in contact long enough, and they'll melt the your flesh fuck? right off. <laughs> ah, so that's why it tangles every time I touch Oh my god, rock girl! Why didn't you warn us earlier? <laughs> <laughs> oh, rock girl. You can get yourself killed. I am still surprised that there isn't some reference to Rokuro in Justeria. Yeah, I mean, I know. It's just it's kind of a shame. That again. I mean, I know I kept saying, I'm like, wouldn't it make sense if the sword obsessed guy was Rokuro? But at the same time, I wouldn't want Rokuro to become such a lame throwaway villain. So. We're finished here. Let's go. Then again, everything in Zestiria can kind of be summed up as a lame throwaway thing because with the story getting gutted, nothing ever got developed properly. Scout ship setting sail.
I'll cut down anyone in my way. At least the offshoots don't like take you two zones before that's like at the dead end. Or yeah, like Final <laughs> Fantasy 2 did. I yeah, I agree. And honestly, the fact that this is the only zone in the game that I remember not liking that much, I still sa think says a lot about you know just how good the zones are, especially since after Tales of Vesperia, the Tales games dungeons started to feel kind of generic just because of the new format that the series took. Rather than having open world with many maps, or uh, oh, uh, overworld with litty, little sprites for the towns and whatnot you can interact with, it was just long hallways to connect each area. We're finished here. Let's go. Um, hmm? okay, so I was looking up, I'm like, D is there a reference to Rokuro and Zestiria? But get this, I found this bit of trivia about him. According to a special skit that comes with a pre-ordered copy of Tales of Berseria... So, was ours pre-ordered? Yes. Okay. So, our, this should be viewable in our copy, but Rokuro's favorite past Tales series character is Lloyd Irving Aww. because they both use two swords. <laughs> what a cute little dork. Oh, there it I wonder if Tales of Berseria was a special anniversary game for the franchise, which is why they worked in so many references. I don't know. Or if it was just... I feel like they would have put, like, a weird little tag... Maybe. Maybe it's just the developers decided, you know what, screw it, let's have fun. Our series is, is over. over 20, 30 years old at this point. Let's let's acknowledge it a bit more. Let's have fun with our history. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah, 
you don't need any you don't need a special occasion to celebrate something that's awesome to feed it every night before I go to sleep, since it's nocturnal. How long are you going to keep on calling it a rhino stagros? I don't know. It's a new kind of beetle, so it's going to be hard to tell if it's really a rhino or a stag. You're asking a lot of questions. Bienfu, do you like bugs? <laughs> he is a bug. Duh. I love rhinoceros and stag beetles both. What guy doesn't find them fascinating? Right? So which kind of beetle do you think it is? Rhino or stag? Oh, that's a tough question. What? But guess what? what is the difference? Muggy Lou taught me their a stags to have two pincers on the side of their oh, mouths. A rhino what? has one horn yes, above their mouth. Leave it after me, all right? Uh, no. What guy does Never. He had a cool bug named after himself, right? And besides, Miss Muggy Lou told me that this technique is so good that it's only fair to have a bug named after you in return. So what do you say, man to man? Come on, let's live the dream! Oh, all right. How can I say no to that? Besides, we all did work together to capture it anyway. Yay! Thanks, Lappy Set. All right, show me the bug, and I'll tell you what it is. Miss Mogilu says you need to open up its outer wings and get a good whiff of the thin underwear. Oh, God. Uh, I'm pretty sure I remember rhinoceros and stag beetles smelling really nasty under their wings. Do they? Is it really that bad? Why not find out for yourself? Uh, no thanks. I think I'll pass. Maybe you shouldn't do this after all, Bianco. I don't know if that's true. I'm pretty sure he's making that up just to get him to leave the poor thing alone. A real man. Never goes back on his word. If it packs a mean punch, then it's a rhinoceros beetle. And if it smells really zesty, then it's a stag beetle. I don't know about this. Just let him do it, Lafayette. Set. He's already volunteered. I can do this. Just you watch. Bad, bad it is. He fainted with his eyes still open. Hey, wake up! Wake up, Bianfu! Miss Mogilu, as soon as I smelled it, my nose literally exploded. Oh, gosh. He looks like he's having a bad dream. <laughs> I spy with my little eyes a kiddo who's spying at my bewitching waist. Oh, sorry. I just couldn't help it. What are those books, anyway? Oh, that's a great question. Since you asked, I'll reveal the secrets of my tomes just for you. On the right, I've got my household ledger in the back, and my magic encyclopedia in the front. That one I mostly use for oil blotting paper. <laughs> What's oil blotting paper? It's a girl thing. The two on the left are my heavy book, which I use for flower pressings, and then my super pop-up book. A super pop-up book? When you open it, it pops out with the force of a raging river! When an enemy has me cornered, I can just open it up facing a nearby wall and pop! Instant getaway! That's... The only downside is that it's a real pain to try to get closed again, so I haven't used it in years. What about the book right in front? That's actually Lair Cake. Whoa, really? Seared into its batter are precious bits of knowledge. Eating it is just as good for your brain as it is for your stomach. Wow! I had no idea that was possible! What the fuck, Maki? He's taking this so seriously, I almost feel bad. All of your books are so interesting, Moggy Lou. That's really cool! There's no end to your curiosity, is there? What do you say? Want to take a closer look? Boy, would I! If you really do, then say, Moggy Lou, I want to get to know you better. Moggy Lou, I want to get to know you better. Moggy Lou, what are you doing? All right, I accept. I'll reveal to you my most private secrets. Wow, so that's what's on the other side of these books. I wouldn't have ever guessed that. What the? What are you doing with Mogby Set? He said he wanted to see, so I'm showing him. 
You have no right to stand in the way of his desires. It's my job to protect him as his vessel, especially from someone so wicked as yourself. Also, what you're doing runs contrary to public decency, which is unsupposed to be decent. These bindings with the locks on them. This style used to be really popular during the Meliodas I dynasty. Know what locks I was looking at. Now that I know you're but such a bad you, influence for him, hell? I'll be keeping a closer eye on you. If you can't learn to take it easy, nobody's ever gonna want to marry you, you know. Like you're a shining example of marriage material yourself. Hey, Mogilu, could you turn them over one more time? I want to see how the books attach to your belt. Yeah, sure. <sighs> Hey, Mogilu, nope. I was nope. wondering about that book you have nope. on your waist. The one you called your heavy book for flower pressings. Your curiosity truly knows no bounds, does it, kiddo? Okay, nobody else knows this, but since you're so interested, I'd hate to leave you hanging. My heavy book, the one I use for flower pressings, is none other than a collection of Bienfu's poetry. Bienfu likes to write poems? Yep. You'd never guess it, but he's actually just about the best Moloch poet around. Huh. Some people even call him the Great Norman Poet. Here, I'll read you my favorite one. If there is something unimportant happening to the East, I'm made to go there and back. If there is something unimportant happening to the West, I'm made to go there and back. I can never rest nor be at peace. Every day my life is a living hell. That's... Heavy stuff. That's why it's a heavy book. Isn't it? That's what makes it so good for pressing flowers. It's so wonderfully, oppressively heavy. Muggy Lou, your face has gone all sinister looking. I feel like. I don't. I don't know, man. What the fuck was that? I just kind of started tuning it out. Okay, just leave me alone in my hell. That's fine. That's fine. First you don't make me brownies, and now you leave me in hell with Moggy Lou. Make your own brownies. I can't leave my place. That's why we have co-pilots in these in the first place. When did you get so protective? Holy crap, what changed? Was it the skit? It was the skit, wasn't it? So many cat spirits, holy shit.
You know what these cat spirits make me think of? What? Collectibles and a platform. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I can see that. Oh, whoa. Bloody ears. Fuel. has been lasting for a while yeah that's a i think that's the other reason why i'm not too fond of it is because it just goes on and on and i think just because of the way the levels are designed you don't get that satisfaction of seeing the temple you're going towards in the distance to try to give you that sense of that sense of progress I need to play Breath of the Wild again, just being able to look over the horizon and all that jazz. Mm -hmm. And it is definitely something I could appreciate about... I mean, I guess this is any open world game in a fantasy universe where you can just look off into the distance, see a mountain range, and be like, yeah, I'm gonna go there. Mm -hmm. Hey, is everyone alright? It's just something like Skyrim. You're surrounded by mountains all the time, so it doesn't have that same sense of, I'm gonna go there. Right. Yeah. How about it, Lafayette? Picking up on anything? Yeah, in the direction of the temple. The feeling's getting stronger now. Good for you, bud. Itchy head. Mm, we're almost there. Mm -hmm. Thinking about it, there wasn't any beachy places in 
exist area was there. Mm-mm. Huh. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't think this place we're at now becomes anything in Zestiria. Now, I also remember this dungeon initially gave initially confused the fuck out of me, but once I figured it out, it wasn't that bad. Okay. Cuz I remember really hating this dungeon because I thought it was broken, but then like I said, once I kind of had an idea of what I was doing, it didn't was fine. Fall. Yeah. It's just, it's design isn't super interesting. Actually, to be fair, another problem with all the... I already said it earlier, the dungeon designs and all the post-Vesperia games are just not all that stand... They don't stand out super well. What's this? Dead person. <laughs> Fuck, what the hell? The demon we heard about? Sounds like it's having fun. Then we'll use this distraction. Anyway, would you turn my character off? I need to do something. Yes. Where is the thing? There we go. Boop, boop. You are? Thank you, honey, for kiss. That'll be five dollars. Ah, fuck. Hello. Wow! Look outside. It's the ocean. We. This was a place of. Bitch, we were past like walking by the ocean this entire time. Not be sad. Water for the same reason that Eumacia's temples were built underground. But building this underwater couldn't have been easy. Aye. With the Earth Temples, all they had to do was keep digging. Here, they had water to contend with. How did they do it? You can't split the sea like you can a log. They started by stacking giant stone blocks in the shallows, creating an enclosed space. Then they drained the water and expanded the enclosure. Once they had done that enough times and secured enough dry space, they were able to dig into the sea floor. Uh -huh. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? The humans believed that by going through such great hardships to build these temples, they could show the depth of their devotion. Depth. Additionally, current research mm. suggests the site of this temple once sat on the seacoast. What? Are you saying I'm wrong? No, I'm only reporting what I've read in academic journals. How would coastal ruins sink into the ocean? When the Empyreans began their slumber, the land shifted, and this temple was swallowed by the sea. Scholars were able to prove that the sand and the heavy stones formed an airtight seal around the structure. Later, people carved an undersea tunnel to connect to the temple, bringing it to its current state. Huh. Now that you mention it, I think I read that book too. Revised theories on ancient architecture, right? That's the one. Have you read it, Aizen? No, I only read the first edition. Aww. The problem with the stone enclosure theory is that each time you expand the enclosure, the innermost stones have to be carried out. Once that was pointed out as being too inefficient, alternate theories were developed. The revised edition has a number of competing theories. I highly recommend reading it. Uh, I will then. <laughs> what a pouty bastard! Was that a this complete is really to... Eisen's explanation? Th that was not my intention. Nah, it's okay. Archaeology is a continuous process of asking new questions and making new discoveries. Prevailing theories change well, all the at least time. He's willing to. What's it matter? He'll anyway? pout about it, but he's willing we'll to admit it. Going. Blessings be upon him, and his house. There's it's no just I imagine, there, right, considering he's the if oldest party member, it, it's a little embarrassing cars? having someone, yeah, you know, no a fraction of his tails? age, yeah. be more knowledgeable than him. But it always comes up tails. Like I said before, these temples are nothing more than places of worship built by human hands. The current religion started when humans fearful of natural forces, began to worship four gods they called the Empyreans. If you're concerned about whether or not one is sleeping in these ruins, just remember that their very existence is only legend. Be that as it may, Enomenot certainly exists. Aye. But I've never heard a single story of anyone actually seeing an Empyrean. Enomenot must be a special case, then. 
Must be. I suppose so. If there were four more like him, and they were all trying to stop us, we'd be sunk. I can't disagree. Huh. Oh. Boat. Take Boat came back with mayonnaise and potatoes. And a potato salad. Uh, I was about to say better make some potato salad, but can't be scout ship setting sail. No. Okay, it's your excuse. Um, hello, good sir. How about no? Oh, okay. Yeah. We're gonna need to buy more vegetable oil. Okay. Ow. Oh no. Please don't hurt yourself. I'll do what I want. No. Oh, I don't like you. You're gross. Always be on guard. <laughs> God damn it, honey. No. I'm talking to these wall demons. God damn it, it's me! I saw Glowy. Come here. Are you okay? Oh no! I'll massage it later. Is that sound like a plan? It's the joints. I'll massage and it's not. Shit. Um. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. We'll get to Advil. Chalice bears a symbol that commands the water flowing. Should the chalice be filled with water and it's marked turned blue, the water shall be as a wall to thwart your path. Should the chalice be dried by flame and it's marked turned white, the impeding one, impending water shall lie still, opening the path before you. Okay. Hey, I wish to enter a room, but okay. I love you. Thank you for making brownies. My husband loves me, guys. I got a great catch. I'm a lucky bitch. <laughs> well, we are under the ocean. This is the best time to catch stuff. And then, then the pedestal looks like it inserts something into it. Oh, you're the chalice. Um, okay. We'll go this way. This is right. No, wait. Never eat. Yeah. 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 Yeah? It's fine. Okay, I know those are, you know, just exorcist armor, but for a second I'm like, Decepticons? <laughs> You've been watching way too much Transformers recently. It does? Are you sure? I'm sure. Besides, honey, you should have realized I've been watching too much Transformers when I did a whole D&D session about Transformers. I, I mean, I know that, but... I don't know if they did. By the way, speaking of that session, I've been fine-tuning it, and I've actually named the diff some of the individual bots. Okay. Yep. I'll explain more in a second. Excuse me. 
Oh, good. I I burned up a chalice. I'm not gonna lie, the sound of that water, whatever. Yeah. Sounded like you just started a fight. You right. You right. When the chalice is filled with water, the waterfall connected to it flows, blocking the way through. Using fire to boil away the water will halt the waterfalls and allow you to move onward. So these chalices sometimes serve other purposes as well. But okay. Mm, Let me out. Power. I don't need the brownie batter raw. Pussy. I do that with cookie dough. But not brownie batter. I don't know why, but my brain is like, ew. Don't mind me, sir. Sir, I said don't mind me. Sir! Hello, sir or madam. You require medical resistance. Okay. So, context, I suppose, now that I'm back. Um, Yee! <laughs> so, uh, you're doing so. I don't remember how or why. I know it had to do with we we're actually getting my mom into kind of tabletop RPGs, like board games specifically. So I then put forth the idea of, hey, what if we did D and D, which my mom Yeesh. was all for. So for funsies, I've just been doing f random one-off sessions whenever we have time. Well, for f I decided one day we were going to be. Going up against Transformer analogs called the Otterbots and the Disinfecticons. And just because I'm like, you know, I kind of want to revisit that ridiculous idea at some point in the future. So I've been thinking about it. I'm like, hey, when I initially did it, they were just nameless robots that they fought. But I'm like, I need to come up with names for the individual characters. And I have come up with the leader of both factions. Oh no. The, su the, the supreme commander of the um, Otterbots is Stream Saber. And the leader of the Disinfecticons is Dustsaurus. Oh boy. And for those who are wondering why it's not an Ot Optimus or Megatron reference, I'm using the main character, main character and main villain from Transformers Victory. It's a Japanese exclusive series that has nothing to do with Optimus and Megatron. Uh, do you want in? Or do you oh. want to wait for a minute? Yeah, I want in on this action. Okay, give me a minute. I'm setting up arts. Now, now, I just need time to get everything fed up and thwarted. It says we've got another viewer. Oh, hello! Hello, viewer. Hello! I hope this isn't just a glitch in the Matrix. But No, happy... welcome that glitch in the Matrix. Oh, oh. We just got another follower. Hey! Yeah, we had thank five. You. We had five followers before the stream began. I don't have like we don't have any fancy setups, but thank you for the follow. Mm -hmm. If you are the one who is following us, again, for all we know, maybe this is just. I will accept a bot. Yeah. <laughs> Switch on. Oh wait, no, I don't want. Oh, should I, like what am I doing? What? I don't want. Oh, I don't want neutral. That's what he's <laughs> good against. I'll use. Sure, I'll use square. It's whatever. Yeah, and I know it doesn't help that, you know, we had been streaming on YouTube for several months, but then YouTube decided it didn't want us doing that anymore. Yeah, it hates us now. So I know a good chunk of the people who watched us on YouTube, because they're not in our Discord, don't know about... We need to, like... Again, I know we need to make a video, video yeah. that explains it. I've been making sure to put the link to our Discord in all of the YouTube videos. Oh, that, the, of the Twitch streams? Of all the Twitch streams, yeah. That's good. Did I say Discord? I meant Twitch, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, they're gone. Still. We're back down to just one. By the way, I don't... I, I think it's weird that even though I'm watching it on our channel's video manager, it still lists us as one of the people watching our stream. It does? Think, yeah. It's weird. Like, for real. It's it's weird. And I'm not... I'm not the biggest fan of it. So that's why I said, it like, oh, there's two people. I actually means there's one person. I don't think Yeah. I mean, it's kind of the reason why I stopped trying to watch it on my phone was because since I'm when I watch Twitch on my phone, it's in my private account, not Chaos Counseling. I didn't want to accidentally inflate the views. 
So I'm hoping that by doing it this way, the system is like, okay, there's one person watching, but it's you, so we're not gonna... We'll see. We'll see. Because, yeah, the last thing I want to do is inflate statistics. I want to fail or succeed based on our own merits and nothing mm -hmm. else. Okay, uh, I brought you in, right? Let's get ready for a fight. It is resistant to neutral. Okay. It has no weaknesses. Ooh. Duggle? It actually, it's, it kind of looks well. like... A it wiped out the security for us, but... It looks like a beefier version of the creatures that Velvet's Village turned into. The mail. Well, look at that. Wolfie's got the crest of Amenoch. Oh! The same pendant worn by priestesses. Then that makes this demon... Yeah, she must be the missing mother, Mahina. Can't be... Well, time to destroy her. Yep, you failed to bring her back, Eleanor. Things and leave me hanging. You know I actually don't. Yeah, on. No! What are you quoting? Nothing. <laughs> You're not the cyclops from Rodney. What? No, he was nobody. You mean. No, um. Odysseus called himself nobody, not um, the cyclops. I thought he later called him. Now no, he's told his brothers that nobody blinded him. Oh, that's right. I'm pretty sure the Cyclops' name was Polyphemus. Maybe. It's been too long. To think a priestess, beloved by her village, would become a demon. Eleanor? She's never going to be the same again. This is the least I can do for her. So says Reason. What? Huh? That feeling. Any? Damn. I don't. Okay, bye. Remember. It's water. I wonder if um, Amino just contacting him. It could be. I mean, since Anomonot's trying to take over, it could be like, hey, uh... Hey, can you help? We saw that you were able... I, I can sense you were able to, you know, fight off Anomonot's power, even if it was just for two seconds. Can uh, you, like, deal can, with Can this? we talk? <laughs> Let's be friends. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Okay. Oh, Onward. Yeah. Um, but then some of the other names I came up with for the oh, no. Otter Bots were Otter Magnus. I feel that one is a little on the nose, but I don't give a shit. Um. I was trying to think of a good one that was a Star Scream parody, but the best I came up with was a Dust Scream. Or making him turn him transform into a, um, a bar of soap and calling him bar scream i like the first one better yeah it's just by the same token i've already got dust saurus so i'm just worried using dust over and over is uh how many times have you used star and bot and you know all the other names well to be fair bot and con are used to distinguish faction not necessarily names Come on, but really? Let's see, Star Saber, Star Scream. Actually, those are the only two I've got. It's part oh. of the main 
that demon. Let's see. I guess she caught demon blight when she was looking for her daughter. Yeah, that's what the girl at the inn said. But even after turning into a demon, she's still searching for her daughter. How do you know that? Well, Rokuro, Koragane, and Dial all remember what they wanted Bear. when they were human. Bear! Bear! Demon or not, she's a mother. It's no surprise she would still be protective of her child. It could be that. Or it could be something else. Well, I hope that's what it is. I know that must be how she felt as a human. But demons don't have a sense of motherhood or any such thing. Bullshit! Hi! I saw how violent she was. She's not Mahina anymore. When she became a demon, she lost all capacity for empathy and love. It's heartbreaking, but it's... Um, Rokuro says, bitch, what please. What are you talking about? I'm right here. See? One demon left unchecked could take a hundred lives. And this one's even willing to attack exorcists. Okay, but... Demons can wipe out what demon villages, hasn't been willing even to? Even cities. Just as they destroyed my village. Hey, Eleanor, your brainwash is Thus, talking? Are you okay? Eleanor, hey, Eleanor, your backstory, no shall we? Back once you've changed. Perhaps it would be a mercy to grant her peace through death. Aww. Poppy but, said. but what about Rokuro, Velvet, and Dial? We Is don't need to kill them. Really an Empyrean? What makes you ask that all of a sudden? Well, according to the song Grimm deciphered, Inominat is an eight-headed dragon, right? The Empyreans are supposed to be these holy beings, but using Therians to feed on malevolence sounds more sinister than divine to me. And also dragons are yeah, the demon point. form of Seraph, Empyreans so... Empyreans are a type of mm -hmm. Molochine, huh. and that doesn't seem That's like any Moloch we've seen. Think about. And even less so when we're talking an eight-headed dragon. Is it so far-fetched? What do you think will happen if the Therians come together in one place? Well, it Hell. wouldn't be good. My guess is they'd merge together into a giant, horrific monster. The mighty beast will attack us with its eight long, snake-like necks and eight heads spitting hellfire! Rokuro, do you want to play I Susano fighting worry. Orochi? Right? And that's eight heads with only six of us to take them on. It'd be more Five. than we could handle. I'd have to conjure up a double or two. You can do that? Of course not. Then why mention it? Oh! What is it, Lafayette? said? Do you think each head would act of its own free will? Because if, if Orochimaru was any... They'd be uncoordinated. Nah, Orochimaru. Orochi, Orochi, Orochi each other was any indication. Mm, yeah. Giving us an opening. If we fight as one united whole, I know we can win. Yes. If we work hand in hand, victory is ours. Oh, so Part sparkly. <laughs> huh? Us united? Have you looked at us recently? Uh, well, I mean, maybe. I don't know. Sweet baby boo. I don't know. I'm uh, Velvet and Eisen seem to be on the wavelength together. Is there so. some sort of trick to it? Well, you could always try busting through it, but I wouldn't. Who knows what sort of traps you might trigger? I know, I know. Look at that diamond-shaped stone in the door. Haven't we seen that somewhere else? You're right. It was on the pedestal with that chalice. That huge thing? You must have some sharp eyes there. <laughs> Fuck you, Huggy. <laughs> By the way, I don't know if I mentioned, so, but what? Guts, the reason why I also think Rokuro is a Guts homage is because Guts simple. is missing the same some eye that Rokuro has that's been turned aren't. into a demon. Oh. Must hold some kind of significance. Again, there's a difference between an right. homage and uh, a ripoff. And Rokuro is not that. I think they basically, it's like, let's make him this way to acknowledge, you know, something that they love deeply. But let's make him completely different so he's our own thing, you know? But who knows? Maybe I am full of, maybe I don't or know. Or maybe Gus is and, and the Japanese stereotype archetype. Could be. Guts could be a, a yeah. Like we more. have here in America, the black-coated badasses. Like that's Gus, the black-coated badass. Fair. That's fair. Oh, another thing I also really like, again, I have know I've, you know, you know, I've wanked off these characters so many times, but I'm going to do it some more. Oh, gross. The fact that, you know, Eleanor had the big, you know, demons are blah, 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 they can't blah, 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 except for the fact that we've already seen that they can. It's another good parallel to Velvet, but just the opposite extreme when it comes to rigid thinking. Mm hmm Yeah, now that I've actually been on the other side of 
like, um, you have more park experience and mm -hmm. being on the story building end of a humongous, basically giant D and D campaign. Mm -hmm. Seeing the conclusions that players would jump to is just like, oh yeah, all oh, these extremes are like so real. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They're so real. <laughs> yep. Whoa! A water bridge! Again, it's kind of... Again, speaking of D&D, &D, there's a character in the D&D &D campaign I'm doing right now. I'm not going to name names just because I want to do it for the channel. But there's a character that I flat out told my group. It's like, you are going to hate this character. The main villain that you're going to kill eats babies and you are not going to hate the main villain as much as you hate this one character and they're all like oh i can't wait to kill him i'm like i'm like oh they're they all have these grandiose plans i'm like yeah actually you're not going to see this character ever again he was there it's like he was here more for a foil for the players because it's like I kind of was analyzing the characters and their story. I'm like, how do I properly advance their arc? I'm like, okay, I'm going to introduce a character that's terrible, but society says that he's a great person. Because that would make for great character growth for my players. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Yeet! it's like maybe I'm, I am thinking about how could I work him back in so maybe they can get their satisfaction. But I'm like, that was not the intention I had. Especially since I planned on using them in a different capacity in a different campaign altogether. Yeah, I am. I, I know it was probably just reusing assets, but I really wish, like you said, it's like the water symbol here is still a bow. Despite the fact that it seemed like the bow was just kind of a random weapon you used in Zestiria, you know? I, Which, I hope that if we do get to see these four great spirits, mm -hmm. um inserts mm -hmm. that they're gonna have some tie to the weapon in some way because another thing that would be kind of nice maybe this is something that's expanded on in tales of zestiria x because again i think i've said but guys don't watch tales of zestiria x if you ever want to play either if you ever want to play berseria because it recounts zestiria really well but then it also ties Berseria into Zestiria's events a lot better, but with spoilers. So, yeah. Hmm. Was it? Oh, did you not open the chest or did I look away? Okay, yeah, you haven't opened the chest yet. Sad days. You threw the life away. How could this happen to me? You know, it's really funny, just the streams that I've been doing by myself. I'm like, I do default to just singing in order to fill the silence. <laughs> it depends for me. Yeah. I, I, I'm a bad judge of myself. I, I can <laughs> never just like analyze what I do, so uh, the viewers would have to tell me what the fuck I'm doing. I do also love the sheer, you know, back, like, the opposite ways we had, like, because, you know, we both did platformers for our first streams. You know, I did Crash, you did Mario. Mm -hmm. for, and I even, you noticed, it's like, you started screaming in anger when you're getting frustrated, and I just started laughing manically. Mm -hmm. I'm a screamer and a crier. Mm -hmm. Um, you're insane. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I speaking of platformers, I do really plan on doing ukulele at some point. I'd love to do the impossible layer for the ch for a stream, but unless it's playing like a brand new game that someone recommended to me, like I do plan on getting to Infinite Undiscovery at some point. And Paperclip, if you ever come back and watch this, the only reason I'm doing Transformers now instead of getting to Infinite Undiscovery, like I said, is because I got those games loaned to me, so. I need to return. beat them and then return them. Oh, uh, full disclosure, I was actually given three Transformers games. Fall of Cybertron, uh, War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, and Devastation. Also, I still need to look into this, but when I was at the store today, I saw there was a new Transformers game called Transformers Battleground, which might be 
Transformers, that's fi that's also Fire Emblem. So, I mean, granted, the reviews say it's only five hours long, so I'm like, I'm going to wait till it gets Ask Anthony if he got it. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. But it's like, oh, since uh, Windblade's a playable character in that, I'm probably going to want to pick that up. Just because I want to show... Oh, Windblade and RC are both playable in that game. So I'm like, I want to show some love to my girls. Your girls, huh? <laughs> you were giving me shit earlier for apparently staring at boys when I was reading my web comics. For staring at comics, I have to give you shit about your girls, apparently. I was only giving you shit because I thought you were doing something else other than web comics. So I decided to be dramatic about it. Doesn't mean I can't give you shit. Yep, I'm not saying you can't give me shit for it. But yeah, I mean, I'd be lying if I said that the fascination behind Windblade about being a fan-created female bot isn't a big part of what really piqued my interest about Transformers this last year that really got me into it. Albeit it wasn't it was Star Saber, not Windblade, that really you know, dragged me in because guys a guys an adopted dad. Like that's an Autobot that actually adopted a son. Like there's an episode where he's signing him up for school and he's gotta sign legal documents. Oh gosh, because tiny. Yeah, actually the funny thing is is that he's like, um could and she's like, I'll need you to sign this paper and she kinda looks up at him. Could I sign it on the computer and then like fax over a you know a shrunk down version, and then the head of the principal was like, "That oh, might, died. that might be for the best." It was a really cute scene. <laughs> but that's also the reason why I went. Oh, with... I died. That's also oh, lots that died. <laughs> oh dear. That's also the reason why when I'm like, I need a, the name of the leader of uh, the Otterbots. I'm like, I'm gonna name him after Star Saber instead of Optimus because okay, fuck it. I'm just using an item. Because Star Saber is the character that really got me into Transformers. Resurrect our little boy so he can cast Hellfire on you. You will pay for making him fall down and we will laugh in your- I'm dead. Maybe if you weren't singing- okay, I yeah. was casting a healing spell. <laughs> I couldn't move even if I wanted to. Oh, I died. And Lafayette well, died again. I think death might be coming for all of us. Oh, son of a fuck. Shit bags. These guys are... Yikes. Okay, you know what? Why is it not letting me swap up into Aizen? I don't know. Is I'm busy, I guess? Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, there I went. Wait, I need to- we need to kill the lizard. He's the one doing the, all the damage okay. to us. <laughs> what? What? Oh, I was, I was like, I'm dead, I can't- Oh my god! I wasn't- I got him! I didn't mean- you literally right now. I'm just Sorry. saying broadly we need to kill the lizard because he's the one who's killing us. Are you resurrecting? Yes, I'm okay. resurrecting. Oh, you only got 98 HP to use a healing item on yourself. It's following me. Margulu would be so grand if you could. Um, fairy circle. Oh, I died. Uh, well, she fairy circled me. That's good. Ah! The 
Wrong button. We did get a dangerous encounter, so this is my fault. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Sort of. It only brought me back up to 140. Well, it cured the poison, so. Do you want to go bring up Loffy Set? Yep, I'm gonna bring up Loffy Set. Child, please have me stunned. Okay. Off you said to that. I'm gonna die. Okay, start casting the healing spell. It sucks. Oh, no. oh, fuck it. Oh, just in time. Oh, fuck it, damn. Do we need to go restock the life bottles? Um. We definitely want to find a place to say. Oh, those are. I actually don't They're know. They're from a Tales game I don't think we have. Yeah, I recognize them, mm -hmm. though. I think I've seen them in... I've seen the white one. Yeah, I've seen the white one in, like, one of the apps, so... Scout ship setting sail. Um, no, because we haven't been having trouble with the boss fights. Uh, We've only been having trouble with, like, the encounters. Uh, like, those type of encounters, so uh, I think we'll be okay. All the guys in the artist mods. Again, I know this is more for the sake of populating the dungeon with enemies, but I'm like, Eleanor, shouldn't you be a little confuzzled as to why exorcists are fighting side by side with demons? <laughs> <laughs> Making to as soon as you activate the mechanism, you sense mana begin to permeate the temple. You seem to have released some kind of sealed energy. What? 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 Don't get hit. I turned you off. That mid battle, apparently. apparently. Oh. Um. 
You want in or do you want to wait? I want to wait. Sorry, I'm uh. There's a local Etsy shop near us. Mm -hmm. Um, they're the ones we've actually bought all of our dice bags from. Yeah. They've just launched another Kickstarter project. Aww. I'm looking at what they got, and I'm gonna share it to the Discord. Because I wanna show these guys support. Something is written on the monolith. The lock of the secret sealed door is governed by the blue and white jewels of the seven chalices. When the jewels of the chalices shine, the jewels of the door shall shine alike. When the seven jewels shine in unison, the way to the inner sanctum shall open. Okay, cool. Pledge to them, so we'll be getting dice at each. But you can look at them later and decide which one you want. Okay. What it was it just more dice? More what dice. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's from Uber Dungeon, so that's what they're called. If you want to look them up on Etsy, they have great dice bags. I've bought like twenty-seven of them. I've given all but you know four of them away as gifts, mind you. But I I swear by their dice bags. I've also got a whole bunch of their stickers on various stuff around the house. Anyway. I didn't go through the right door. The knock knock. Who dare? The door! No. None of your horse shit. None of this horse hockey. I feel the power coming from further inside. Mmm, how very intriguing. Very intriguing. I hate you. <laughs> Well, that's okay, because I hate you, too. Oh, okay, as long as we're on the same page, not either. But I love watching you squirm. You okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go fight a thing. Mm hmm. It's a twee. Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh. This incident again. Okay. Well, there you are. That barrier again! Looks like we were right. Another Therian. Just as Velvet conjectured, each of the seven heads seems to assume a different form. The sensation! It was here! Well, look at that. I guess your hunt panned out too, kiddo. This is just how I felt in Warren Forest. That must have been an Earth Pulse point back there too. Well, what are we going to do with this one? Can we get it to shrink like that bug of yours? 
I don't care whether it lives or dies. As long as we defeat it and take out one of Inominat's heads, that's all that matters. Okay, then. I forgot what I mapped my fire to. Hold up. Okay. What's it immune to? Um, it's immune to earth and neutral. Oh, I'm not in the game right now. Oh, I will fix that. What? But I did. Well. Okay. Then I gotta turn off some of her shit. Yep. So most of your stuff. Go nuts, girl. Thank you. I don't think this Therian's getting any smaller. We're gonna kill a kid, aren't we? Again. 
again. Have fun with this feeling, Eleanor. I'm not letting you go this time. Have fun with these feels, Eleanor. Oh my god! Is that Therian eating the demon? Yeah, <laughs> awkward editing there. The Therian, it ate her. Malevolence must refer to demons then. Feeding on demons. I know what that's like. <laughs> I wonder why you had to go through a transition, but Velva didn't. Why did you leave Technically, her arm is her transition. <laughs> but I mean, like, Can she's I still demon-like here. Will so I'm wondering why she me? had the tree version, which is a regular I'm demon, sorry, and now with Theron and Velva didn't. I'm sorry. No. This can't be happening. I tried so hard to be strong for you, Moki. The man from the Abbey made me strong. <laughs> so please, mommy, <laughs> please come back. The Abbey made her strong? By turning her into a Therian? Jeez, those Abbey Jokers really get off on this sacrifice stuff, don't they? I can't believe it. That, that woman... She was trying to save her own daughter. No shit, Sherlock. I thought we established Mommy. that earlier. <laughs> Mommy. I miss you. Mommy. <laughs> Dying, unable to save her daughter. All she could do was offer herself to feed her hungry child. So, should we bring her with us? Someone like her will only slow us down. That Therian isn't going anywhere! Oscar! What is the Abbey doing? Please tell me, I have to know! Eleanor! The less you know, the better. Oh yeah, because that's no. convincing and not scary. Mother, and a red flag. So she must have devoured the demon. But don't let that trouble you. The demon was a necessary sacrifice to bring an end to this world's pain and suffering. It wasn't just some demon. She was a mother. She was all this girl had. Her one and only mother. Be that as it may, those who possess strong wings must... Ooh, fun. Don't make me burn it's up the rest nice of you. A girl cry. Aw, Velvet. <laughs> <laughs> Just go pick up the sweet child. Just add her to the party, Velvet. It's fine. It's now or never. Out of the way, Lafayette. Wait! You know come 
taken in Nominat! You can sever the link! You don't have to kill her! Barrier. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Remember she did the same thing with the beetle? Apparently a woman's tears truly do have frightened later. If we're taking her with us, we'd better grab her and go. No sense link without her. She'll be with you forever. You're not in your intestines. I promise. Even if she's far away, your mother will always be looking over you. How do you know? My mom does the same for because me. Yep, there we go. That's what my mother does for me, too. Let's go, Kamawana. Okay. I love her eyes. Mm-hmm. Hate what they put this child in. Please put give this child some clothes. Please. No. Okay. Fuck you, Oscar. Excuse me. This is definitely a turning point for her character. Well, yeah, I mean, she just kind of found out the Abbey doesn't give two fucks. Plus, on top of that, I mean... Yeah. Uh, wait, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, hold on. Maybe it's just that that's fluking out. Let me let me jump on Twitch on my phone. Make sure the stream's coming through okay. Okay. Blah -ba deep blah -ba deep blah. Yeah, no, we're good. It's just our computer door freaked out a teeny bit. Okay. But we're good. Uh, okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> Guess you are still there. Have fun. Don't drown, I guess. No, we don't want to fight any more of you lizards. You were surprisingly strong. And you kicked our ass. Oh, I gotta turn on arts again. Hold up. Artsy fartsy. Malevolence is getting stronger. What? My my, the effects are already starting to show. Wait, we still call malevolence? No. You just said that the malevolence here is 